Good morning and welcome again to Praise and Prayer. Uh, we're using the Methodist Worship Book of Britain and the Order of Morning Prayer in the United Methodist Seminal. Our prayer list is from August 16th for Newark United Methodist Church. The picture is from Iceland a couple years ago and showed oh, my brother-in-law, my sister and I up. We scaled uh, to the top of a rocky, rocky enclave and and stood there with our arms raised in the air. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Loving God, we have come to worship you. New every morning is your love, great God of light, and all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Our scripture is from James chapter 5, verses 13 to 20, message translation. Are you hurting? Pray. Do you feel great? Sing. Are you sick? Call the church leaders together and pray and anoint you with oil in the name of the master. Believing, prayer will heal you and Jesus will put you on your feet. And if you've sinned, you'll be forgiven, healed inside and out. Make this your common practice. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you can live together whole and healed. The prayer of a person living right with God is something powerful to be reckoned with. Elijah, for instance, human just like us, prayed hard that it wouldn't rain. And it didn't, not a drop for three and a half years. Then he prayed that it would rain and it did. The showers came and everything started growing again. My dear friends, if you know people who have wandered off from God's truth, don't write them off. Go after them. Get them back, and you will have rescued precious lives from destruction and prevented an epidemic of wandering away from God. And our psalm is number 133, also from the message. How wonderful, how beautiful when brothers and sisters get along. It's like costly anointing oil flowing down head and beard, flowing down Aaron's beard, flowing down the collar of his priestly robes. It's like the dew on Mount Hermon, flowing down the slopes of Zion. Yes, that's where God commands the blessing, ordains eternal life. A good reminder to live in peace with one another. Let us give thanks to God for the love of our Father, the maker of all, the giver of all good things. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for the world's beauty and the changing seasons and for the life that we have been given. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and worked among us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection to new life, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his rule over all things and his presence in the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who teaches and guides us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for the grace of the Spirit and the work of the church in the life of the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. So for what are you grateful to God this day? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Amen. 
Let us lift up our concerns to God. Eternal God, loving parent, we pray for the church throughout the world, for this church and all who call it home, that in faith and unity we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may seek justice, freedom, and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those among who we live and work, for all our neighbors. For those who have lost work. For families that have lost loved ones this week. For those who are finding it difficult to work from home. For those alone. For those affiliated with the University of Delaware. For those who are without a home or at risk of losing their home. First responders, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, and support personnel. For organizations and volunteers who are feeding those in need. For those impacted by the recent storms and tornadoes. For local businesses struggling in these difficult times. For those facing food insecurity. For those who are in prison and their friends and family. For those with or suffering from the after effects of COVID-19. And for those that we might name aloud or silently. That we may so use your gifts that together we might find joy in your creation, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety, or sickness, for the cares of this community, for those struggling with drug and alcohol addiction, for the young men with mental health issues, depressed and possibly suicidal, that he gets the help he needs. For all who serve and sacrifice for our country and for those who love and wait at home. For a friend and colleague undergoing hope and heart surgery. For the one in need of peace and healing for many health concerns. For the one in need of healing from brain cancer. For the one in need of relief from pain and for a successful abdominal surgery. For healthcare workers and so many service industry people balancing health and safety of themselves and their loved ones. For the young woman with life-threatening clotting issues whose doctors are stumped and who is afraid of dying and leaving her young kids without a mom. For the family whose loved one passed after being taken off life support. For the woman starting chemo for stomach cancer. For families who have lost loved ones to COVID-19 and are unable to be together to lend comfort and support. For cancer patient with upcoming surgery. For the 91 year old who fell and broke four ribs. For miraculous healing for father of three adoring children who is in severe pain battling cancer and who is not allowed to have visitors in the hospital. For the people of Lebanon. For healing for a young woman whose breast cancer has returned, has spread to her bones, and has led to broken ribs, fractured hip, and a broken arm from normal movement. And for her mother and her daughter, just turned two. For guidance and wisdom for those making decisions regarding reopening of schools. For guidance and wisdom for the researchers working hard to find a vaccine and cure for COVID. For the chronically homeless. For the one in need of continued healing and hope 
that repeated testing will show that chemo now completed has been effective? For the one in need of healing and strength as she undergoes weeks of radiation following surgery to remove a malignant basal cell. With thanksgiving for successful melanoma surgery for a cousin and her family who has anemia, several GI issues and pain, and whose doctors are doing testing on her liver. Goodness. Healing for the young woman with sudden onset complete sight loss in her right eye with severe pain and guidance for her medical team. With thanksgiving for a successful pacemaker replacement surgery. For success for the one undergoing a procedure to drain fluid from the lungs. And for others we might want to name aloud or silently now. God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. We pray you accept and answer our prayers. Not as we ask in our ignorance nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our, our God, God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Mm. Beloved of God, go out into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Rejoice in beauty. Speak love with word and deed. Honor all beings. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Too.